With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, the following question says two dice are rolled together. Okay, there are two dice which are rolled together. Find the probability of getting a total of at least 10. At least 10 means the number, the sum should be 10 or more than 10. The sum should be 10 or more than 10. That means it could be 10, it could be 11, it could be 12. Okay, when two dice roll, the sum of their face could be 1. Minimum condition will be 1 plus 1, 2. Right, 1 plus 2, 3 and so on and the maximum condition could be 6 plus 6, 12. Okay, these are the minimum numbers that could appear on the face of both the dice. This is the maximum the number that could be appear. So, the minimum sum will be 2 and the maximum sum will be 12. Okay, now the total outcomes could be a raised to the power n that means 6 square 36 okay where a is number of result when any experiment is done once and n is number of experiment okay now we if we do, uh, roll a dice once the number of result could appear on its face are 6 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 Okay, number of result could be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 result could appear. And if 2 dice are rolled, that means there will be 2 case. 6 square 36. Okay, so there are 36 outcome. Total 36 outcome. Okay, if you want to make these 36 outcomes, you can write them very easily like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. Similarly, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. This is for dice 1 and this is for dice 2. Okay. So, 1, 1, 2, 1, 2, uh, 3, 1, 4, 1, 5, 1, and 6 comma 1 that means on the face of first dice we are having 1 2 3 4 5 6 and on the face of the second dice we are having one for all the cases similarly you can make all other cases like 1 comma 2 1 comma 3 1 comma 4 1 comma 5 and 1 comma 6 okay so there will be total 36 cases now favorable outcomes Correct. We want 10, 11 and 12. Okay. There is only one case where we can have 12, 6, 6. There are two cases for 11, 5, 6 and 6, 5. Okay. That means one will appear. 5 comma 6 and 1 will appear sorry 6 comma 5 and 5 comma 6 okay. there will be two cases and for 10 there will be three cases 6 comma 4 4 comma 6 and 5 comma 5 fine so total there are 3 plus 2, 5 plus 1, 6 cases. Now, for probability, to calculate probability for any event, formula is favorable outcomes upon total outcomes. Favorable outcomes are 6, total outcomes are 36. That means our answer is 1 by 6. Now, I will tell you a trick to remember which sum is appeared every time okay what is the number of terms by which the sum will appear okay how many times like two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve okay for two and twelve 
there is only one case okay for 2 also and for 12 also for 3 and 11 there will be two cases for 4 and 10 there will be three cases for 5 and 9 there will be four cases for 6 and 8 there will be five cases and for 7 there will be six cases okay so you can remember them 1 2 3 4 5 6 and then reverse 5 4 3 2 1 okay now we have three cases 10 11 12 so we can easily add them 3 2 plus 1 6 and total cases are 36 so you can use this trick to remember okay these are the sum on the sum and these are the number of cases which make this sum okay if you want you can check this from here from 1 and comma 1 you will have one cases for 6 comma 6 12 you will have one case for 3 1 comma 2 2 comma 1 there will be two cases for six, uh, 11 same 6 plus 5 11 5 plus 6 11 there will be two cases okay if i write these also 2 comma 2 okay and 2 comma 3 2 comma 3 and 3 comma 3 now if you think uh, for 4 cases are 3 comma 1 2 comma 2 1 comma 3 okay there will be three cases for 4 there will be three cases for 5 there will be four cases 1 2 3 4 cases. okay so we have just drive this method here and write this table so you can easily do okay that's all from my side thank you everyone have a great day. for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today